And that served 42 years for a crime he didn't commit is going after those who he says framed him along with the city of Detroit. A lot of time behind bars for sure. The now Detroit's Naya Harden is live after speaking with this man wrongfully accused. And Naya, it's been a, a long road for this man and sounds like he is fed up. So what did you hear today? That's right, Carolyn. Well, first, I want you to take a look at this mugshot right here. This was taken when he first got in. He was 19 years old in this picture. He's now 62 years old, and he says those years he will never get back. I never thought it'd take over 40 years to get to this point. It was 1975. Lador Watkins was arrested and charged with the murder of Yvette Ingram, an alleged drug dealer who taught in Detroit public schools. His attorney, Wolf Mueller, says a Detroit police officer and the former prosecutor set him up by threatening and coercing Watkins' acquaintance into saying he did it. Mueller says evidence showed Highland police officer Gary Vazana committed the act. In the 1970s, Detroit and Highland Park especially, it was kind of the wild, wild west. Lador was set free in July, but has now filed a $168 million lawsuit against those involved, including the city of Detroit. In the suit, it says there was fabricated evidence. A jury will have no problem determining that reasonable compensation in this case is $2 million per year of incarceration and an equal amount for punitive damages. Watkins has lost many of his family members while he was in prison, and when he tried telling people he was innocent, sometimes they didn't believe him. You know, they did everything they could to help me, and um, after they passed on, I felt that it would be a dishonor to them for me to give up. He now has a job and is working on his associate's degree. He says he's not angry. I enjoyed being able to walk down the street free. It's not an indictment on police officers or prosecutors. The vast majority always do the right thing. It's just when the system gets broken, there has to be an accounting, and this is the day. Now, walk-ins, we don't know when he'll be going to court for this, but we're hearing it's possibly late next year. We do know, though, that he is glad to be back with some family friends of his. He says he's really happy to have a home-cooked meal, Joanne. Oh, I bet. You can't imagine what he has gone through all these decades. Naya, has he tried to contact any of those who he believed framed him in this case? No, he hasn't, but his attorney actually says that he's been talking to uh, some of these people who are still alive. He said he actually spoke to uh, the police officer, the former police officer who's accused of framing him, and that police officer actually told him that he does not remember anything. Wow. What a shame. Nia Harden, thank you for the live report. All right.